Hey guys, um, so what's up? I have something serious to talk about with you. Now, I know a lot of you fr people are from A school, but, you know, what's the one most common thing from school is, is bullying. <sighs> Feel refreshed. Anyhow, um, so, the one thing that is very common in schools is bullies, and it's, and it's really, really bad. It's, from my personal experience, I've, um, had bullies for basically all my life, and I try not to get them in trouble, because I know it'll blow up in my face later, but. I'm not saying you guys shouldn't do that. So, if there's anybody bullying you, you know, go tell a teacher or something. Go tell an adult. Because it isn't good. Now, today I have learned a lesson a little bit. Um, because... I'm trying to keep my mouth and my eyes perfectly open, but like one just wants to be lazy and one wants to be active. There we go. Okay. So basically, um, yeah. Um, today I learned something that it isn't good to get physical with your your bully. I this bully that I thought was my friend. He really he I don't know why I was just really mad for the day and he got my last nerve and I shoved him. So what ended up was I got punched in my left ear. Um wasn't good. I got suspended for two days. Um so the reason why I'm making this vlog is because, well, I have been suspended for two days. I just got suspended today. Um, let's talk with you people. It's not okay to get physical with your fights. I have just learned that from from my experience today. It's why is my eye, my left eye is like like this, and my right eye is like this. I don't know, but. Um, yeah, that's not good to get physical. It, all it does is ends up worse for you, and it's not very good. So tell a teacher something before that leads up to that, and it will help you solve your problems. Bullies, normally, they don't do well at home. Um, sorry, I'm trying to fix my eye. What's up with my eye? I don't know. Look at it. You guys see that? It's like this eye is normal and then this eye is like really lazy. I might have a lazy eye. I hope not. Anywho, um, so tell a teacher or something because all it does is when it gets physical, it's not going to be good. Um, so, yeah, make sure you do that and if here are the three rules for basically fighting pretty much is one they swing at you you walk away two you they swing at you again go try to tell a teacher or something three they swing at, swing at you one more time then you fight back it's at least you tried to do something to prevent that I was just so mad today that I didn't even try I I'm really mad at myself for doing that because I've always said well don't try to get physical try to deal with the handle it but then it just with all the stress that I've had for exams it just came out and I shoved them it was just like I just used my left hand I was like I'm freaking shoved him against the wall then he stocked me right in my left ear it's not good So, 
apologies to that person. You're probably not watching this video since probably just pure hate me now. So here are like the three things that bullies normally do. So one is that the, um, they normally have a problem at home with someone and they try to pick on others to make them feel better. Two is that they um, I guess we'll see. Okay, good. Um, two is that they either have a grudge with you for some reason of family problems, uh, or they just don't care. They just want to be that way, think they're better than everybody. Uh, or three... They just use you. If you're like that, one of those smart kids, um, they kind of use you by cheating off of you on tests. You're just not very good. It just, just try to stay away from them. Try to let someone know to deal with this problem. Don't end up punch or shoving them. Not punching. I didn't punch. Shove them and then end up suspended or anything. It just ends really bad. Um, it doesn't mean good. It's horrible. I feel really bad for this, for making this decision. Again, I'm sorry to the person that I did it to. Um, if any of you go to the same school as me, you'll know who it is. Um, I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused, I hope I didn't hurt you emotionally, physically, any other way. I just, it gets really annoying sometimes whenever you get bullied. For the past four years of your life, it's, it just sucks. For the past four school years, all that happens to me is I get picked on, and yelled at, and everything else because people just hate me because I talk too much. Well, they don't know what it's like at my house. I kind of don't get to talk. So. This is most of my parents. Mainly my parents are watching TV. But mainly because they really because I mean they're allowed to watch TV. They work and everything, but mainly it's just that I'm lonely at home. I don't really have anybody else to talk to. Sure, I have little siblings, but they're like. The older one's six and has a three-year mental disability. So, it just gets really annoying that I don't get to talk to anybody very much. So that's why I try to talk as much as I can at school before I go home and not talk basically anything at all. So, yeah, those of you people who watch my videos and know who I am, that's the reason why I am just talking so much and people always are just jerks to me about it. I can't do anything. They just yell at me and make fun of me any other way possible. And it gets really annoying that people mistreat others because they just want to see them sad. They just want to see them cry. So it's about a nine minute wrap on bullies. Um, it's very serious thing in schools and I hope by watching this video we can prevent this from happening. Thank you. Have a great day. Hey guys and welcome back. Um so I hope you guys understand the bullying thing. It's just really serious in school, so I wanna make sure that everybody gets treated fairly, not overpowered one another. So Welcome back to the normal channel. That was a about a nine and a half minute thing about really serious stuff. Um, that wasn't no joke. So today we are not going to be uh, drawing. You know, 
You know, I was just like. I don't know how I was positioned in my in my thumbnail in my part two of my last vlog. But then when I went to be calling today I will recite the preamble. Give me one second to think about this. Alright, I got this guys. Okay, ready to hear this? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail? Wait, this is the wrong thing now. All right, guys, I got this this time. I think I did the wrong thing. Okay, I got this. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creators to do wrong things because this is the wrong thing as well. Okay, guys, I got this this time. I wrote it on my hand. Um, as you can see, I wrote it on my hand. Okay? So it says, we the people of the United States. I think that's those stitch. Alright, let's just... Screw this. <sighs> Alright, I got it this time. I just looked it over. And my lamp turned off. And it turned back on. And my bulbs on screwed, apparently. Alright. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, Jordan and establish this constitution for the United States of America. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, yeah. So, Let's try something. Let's hope one of my favorite songs is here. Never heard of that song. Mm -hmm. Alright. I got a song for you guys. So I'm gonna need the broken slinky. Some legends are told, some turn to dust or to gold. You will remember me, remember me for centuries and just one mistake is all it will take. We'll go down in history. Remember me for centuries. Hey, yeah. oh, hey. Hey, uh, remember me for centuries. I forgot the rest of the song. I'm just kidding, but I'm not gonna sing this. Um, right. um, what else should we do? You know, since I have a couple of ropes to play with now that I figure out how I can do this. Alright, um, so if you guys didn't know, this is Cologne. And if you're a guy, you put this on for girls to impress them with your, your your smell. And apparently, those girls just go these magnificent. You know how you shave your mustache? All right, guys. If you guys haven't noticed yet, um, I this is gone. I just shaved it half an hour before this video. Also, I put red in my hair. I don't. You guys can't see that though. It's like a red tint. I think. I think I see a little strand right there. It's like right there, like right there. But I just put red on my tips. And um, what's gonna happen is after this video, take a shower, 
I'm gonna put blue in my hair. And then I'll make a vlog tomorrow. I'm showing my brand new blue hair. Out. <laughs> Don't expect blue. Like, permanently. Like, the NTDM, but, um. I just have it temporary. Like, it washes out after a couple showers. Give me about a half a week. Uh, give me about a um, a week. Uh, I should be gone, but make a couple vlogs during that time. Um. So. I wish I had the drawing that we made, but I kind of don't. So, uh, look at that magic. Um, I will put it in future videos. Um, once I find it, I'll just put it up, and I'll be like, "Bam!" Hanging on my ceiling. I'm going to show you guys. Um, so, as you can tell, I have like a big pack of razors here. There's six of them in here. And then I have a um, extra blade. I got like a pack for Christmas. So, yeah, I basically got that. But I think that's about it for this video. Um, like, subscribe, do whatever the heck you want. And um, peace out, my dudes.